Hello everyone. I have been learning quantum mechanics and uh, uh, I'm following the book Introduction to Quantum Mechanics, the third edition by David J. Griffiths and Daryl F. Schroeder. And this is just uh, some of the things I have learned and uh, so in so in classical mechanics that's my L so suppose if you want to study a system how we do it say let us drop an apple uh, so it's coming down, down maybe here is our earth or some surface and uh, so how do we do it so we say m is the mass uh, so we know that force is given by m into g so i can write force as f equal to m into g which is also equal to d square x by dt square into m so which gives me g square x by dt square equal to g right and so i can go ahead and say uh, dx by dt would be integral of that so gt plus a constant and i say let's say c1 and i can keep going ahead and say x equal to integral one more time gt square by 2 plus c1 into t plus c2 now if i say this is um, so this dx by dt is the velocity and if i say at t equal to our x0 it is at rest so i say uh, v equal to u equal to 0 so with t is 0 this is 0 so c1 that gives us c1 as 0 and uh, again here say this is at origin uh, and we set it as 0 again 0 so t equal to 0 t is 0 c so which x is 0 which gives us c to 0 so which we can write so we have dx by dt equal to gt equal to v and say x equal to gt squared by 2 right so the what is the point so now i say i started with this initial conditions right i have some initial condition at t equal to zero it was at rest at, at this point i started with initial position and initial velocity at t equal to zero now at subsequent instance of time um and dx by dt uh, at subsequent instant of time i can calculate what is my velocity at another time another instant i can calculate the position in a later instant of time so in effect so i have no position i have velocity and position and once i know i can calculate momentum or i can calculate energy so in effect uh, we can calculate we know how the system is evolving uh, I, I, I started with say t equal to t1 my starting t equal to t1 and at later instant I can know how the system is evolving um, so in effect we, we say that this is a so we say classical mechanism deterministic right means once I, I know uh, I start with some initial conditions I know everything about the system um, so we what we have this right this is this is how we started so we say our starting point was f equal to m a so Newton's equation so a now when you come to quantum mechanics
right so what we have in, instead of this what we do we have uh, what we have is the the equation i h cut do psi by do t equal to minus h cut square by 2 m do square psi by do x square plus v psi so this is what we call a Schrodinger equation Schrodinger 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 equation so this is so instead of so and psi is the what we call as wave function so instead of analogous to steady if newton's equation what we have in quantum mechanics uh, is the schrodinger equation which is written here and we use the we have potential energy and mass and h cut is basically reduced Planck's constant h by 2 pi which we can write something like 1.054 10 raised to minus 23 joules second so so to study a system um, we do it in a different way so we study the evolution of psi at um, evolution of psi at different times and we saw to look at to to, to study a system and look at the evolution of a system we solved the Schrodinger equation for wave function uh, and that's how in quantum mechanics we study a given system so Schrodinger equation serves the purpose of the, the Newton's equation in quantum mechanics um, and um, uh that's for this uh short uh discussion um and i hope it was easy to follow and thank you very much